This is Russ Kern with Look Within, and today I wanted to talk to you about why you need food-grade hydrogen peroxide over just store-bought hydrogen peroxide. And I'm sure everybody recognizes this big brown bottle. <laughs> this is what you typically get at a Walgreens, CBS, Walmart, etc. 3% solution hydrogen peroxide in the brown bottle, big or small. A dollar or something a bottle, or for this big bottle, maybe two something. Very inexpensive, highly effective when hydrogen peroxide is used in the following ways I'll tell you in this video. But really, the point of this video was to say why I wouldn't use the brown bottle bought in retail stores like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. What I do recommend buying is food grade, see right there on the label, food grade hydrogen peroxide. And I'll provide you a link and a guide underneath this video you can click on and get for free um, of the resource I use and then the protocol I use for many different things in regards to health. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is truly the best. But the reason why you want food grade hydrogen peroxide over store bought are, are many. And let me start with the, the most important. In store bought hydrogen peroxide, in the big brown bottle, they have what's called chemical stabilizers, okay? And there's quite a few of them. I'm just going to call out three that I happen to research right on the internet. One from Cornell University, one from OSHA, and one from a company in Houston, Texas called Chem One Limited. So these are all scientific studies that are out on the internet. Anybody can pull these up. I'll leave these links under the video as well so you have this. But these are just a few of the chemical stabilizers in store-bought hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the first one is uh, phenyl or phenol. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. But it's, um, it's a common chemical used on campus for activities such as tissue preservation and DNA, RNA extraction. <laughs> the hazards of phenol are twofold, and this is by Cornell University. Uh, it is both a corrosive, can cause severe burns, and uh, toxic, and toxic absorbed phenol acts as a uh, systematic toxin. Okay, so it's a corrosive and a toxin. Um, just to name a couple on the first potentially harmful chemical additive. Okay, the second, sodium stannate, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is by OSHA. Again, a document right online. You can pull this up. And the quick lowdown on stannate is that it... Uh, is a risk to irritating eyes, respiratory system, and skin, in your skin, okay? And you don't want to swallow this stuff because you probably have to go to the ER um, if you have this alone in a larger quantity. Obviously, there's smaller quantities in store-bought hydrogen peroxide, and they say, well, a little bit, you know, not harmful. Well, a little bit over time, incredibly harmful. So, sodium stannate, okay? Uh, the last one, uh, and there's more than this. There's more chemical stabilizers than I'm telling you about, but these are the most um, that stood out to me. Uh, tetrasodium. I can't pronounce the second word, so I'm not even going to go there. But this is uh, used as a buffering agent, an emulsifier, dispersing agent, and a thickening agent, and is often used as a food additive. Does that sound like anything you'd want in in your, your food? I, I certainly don't. That's why. You, Whole foods, um, not anything in a box or can or process, etc. And this report uh, was done by a company called Chem One uh, Limited in Houston, Texas. And they're talking about eye irritation and several other things. But the biggest one with this one is potential eye irritation. Okay. So I, I just wanted to tell you why you want, again, food grade, food grade versus non food grade when you do make a purchase because it is my belief that you should have hydrogen peroxide in your house for a lot of different reasons and let me just run through those reasons uh, pretty quickly with you. Um, well first let me tell you what hydrogen peroxide is. It's really simple. It's oxygen and water combined in a unique ratio to form a germicidal liquid. It's as simple as that. Uh, but more importantly what can it be used for? Many many things in terms of your health sinus infections and in my guide I'll provide a link under the video um, I, ha I have a guide for you to show you how to clean up sinus infections help prevent colds and flu and even if you do get the cold and flu uh, diminish the length of time you suffer with a cold and flu 
helps clean wounds. I think we all know that parasites and pathogens, bacteria, helps with toothaches. It's great for inside your mouth health, gum health, tooth health. Use it as a mouthwash. Use it as a gargle. Um, yeah, the taste isn't so great, but the effects are awesome. It kills everything in there that shouldn't be there. And, of course, it has some links to helping people in dealing with different forms of cancer. Uh, that's a video for another subject, but there is scientific stuff there as well. And to, to end this, I just wanted to read a couple things uh, that I found online as well, uh, just to back up the claim of why you want hydrogen peroxide. And this was this is going on to say, I want to emphasize very strongly that you should not use any type of hydrogen peroxide unless it is food grade. The junk you buy at the grocery store and most common health food stores is high in iron uh, and also has other harmful chemicals, as I just called out to you, um, that are toxic at a minimum, and they are not removed. Um, and this is, and of course, it's for external use only, but I still wouldn't touch it. And this is by uh, CancerTutor.com. The doctor over there uh, provides this and a whole host of other things. But in a nutshell, that is why you want to buy food grade hydrogen peroxide over store bought. It's a few extra dollars a bottle, but when it comes to your health, isn't that worth it? So I'm going to provide the link for you to all of these uh, documents and also my guide for free, the resource I use for food grade hydrogen peroxide and a whole bunch, whole bunch of other uh, freebies and health tips for you. So cheers to your health. Take care. Bye.